Do you want your website to look like this or like this? Stick with me if you want a quick masterclass on how to use decorations on your website. Hi everyone, I'm Tony Lewis and before we get started, be sure to give me a massive thumbs up on this video. And if you're into business building and online marketing, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel as well, as that is the core essence of what we talk about here at Thrive Themes. By the way, watch the whole video because I've got a surprise that I think you're going to like. Now, hear me out. Decorations are a powerful feature inside Thrive Architect that will allow you to add eye-catching elements such as borders, shadows, shapes, and background images. However, it's important to use them effectively as they can also mess up your website design if you don't use them properly. In fact, this is probably one of the most common mistakes that I see people doing when they're starting out designing with Thrive Architect. A lot of people will see that they can add fancy decorations to their background sections and content boxes. And that is when the decoration monster gets awakened and ends up messing up people's designs. So let's take a look at some of the things to avoid when using decorations and good principles to implement as well. All right, let's take a look at a few real life scenarios of things that you can come across online. In this first example, we are being presented with a hero section that has a laptop as a background image. And so I'm automatically getting in the mood of being in an office or business environment. But they've picked out a brush divider that doesn't really play well with this mood. And not just that, but since it's white, it's breaking up the following section in a very weird way. It would have been best if they had made this decoration the same kind of purple as the following section instead of white to not create this white division that we're seeing. If we scroll down a tad bit here, we can see how we have a weird cocktail of decorations for this two column layout. We've got a top wave divider plus an inner techy kind of hexagon decoration as well. A good rule of thumb is to never mix and match different dividers in the same section and to be very mindful of colors as well. Like it's weird to be introducing a light blue all of a sudden uh, out of nowhere. If we keep on scrolling, this this is just chaos. Um, here they've overscaled their divider to the point where it's the only thing you can really concentrate on, especially since they're using strong colors. And remember, the whole point of using fancy decorations and dividers is to complement the copy and content and call to actions of your page, not to make them the primary focus of attention for website visitors. And we're still not done. If we keep on scrolling here, Again, they're using way too many decorations all at once. Since they're using a slanted edge for this content box, adding a drop shadow automatically kills the fun out of using a slanted edge because it's making it seem like the background image is being mistakenly cropped in a strange way. And something else that I noticed here is that a lot of people forget to scale their dividers on mobile. Like you wanna make sure that you adjust them to make them look good on mobile and tablet as well. Now, take a look at this revised version instead. You see how this wave divider blends in really well with the following section, and it also happens to work well with the mood that the picture in the hero section is trying to create. And as we scroll down, you're going to see that we're barely making use of any decorations other than some rounded borders. Um, we are using a lot of margin to create breathing room in between sections, and a few subtle drop shadows to make things pop up a little bit. Look, after having built hundreds and hundreds of pages, there's something that I've come to realize, which is that more often than not, less is more. And the simpler you keep things, the more clear your message will come through. Let's take a look at another example. You may think upon looking at this hero section that this pops out, right? But I mean, I think we will all agree down in the comment section below that while this hero section definitely stands out, it just doesn't look very good. First things first, again, this is clearly a site that deals with VR and technology and having a melting divider at the very top is just not in tune with the environment that we're trying to create for visitors. Plus, this is also not properly scaled because it's starting to get in the middle of the headline and it's making it a little bit hard to read. If we scroll down a little bit, at first I thought I was going to be cool with this section, except I then saw the overcrowding of dividers and it just got thrown off by it. We've got a top decoration and a bottom decoration that aren't even the same style or color. And you know, it just makes things look awkward and out of place. And if we keep on scrolling down, things just get worse with overlapping dividers and weird color choices for them. I mean, this is just a very difficult section to even look at. I want you to take a look at this revised version instead. 
Right off the bat, can you already tell how clean this is? The main heading of the hero section is perfectly readable and the divider underneath it is subtle and works really well with the tone that we're trying to create. If we scroll down past the hero section, we can see that we're only using one primary color and that we're not using a divider for the bottom section because we just don't have to, like I said, sometimes less is more. Notice though how in order to create some more breathing room, we've inserted a testimonial rather than trying to split sections up by overusing dividers. And as you keep on scrolling down through the page, we are sticking to two main primary colors. We're using orange for dividers, headings, and uh, decorations, and we're using black for text. Now, before I give you your big surprise, here's a quick recap of a few things that you should take away from this video. The first thing is that you need to be consistent with your use of dividers. Don't mix and match them because it's going to make your website look clunky. Stick to one fancy decoration and a simple divider to break some sections apart. And remember, more often than not, less is more. And the simpler you keep things, the better your site will look. The second takeaway is to not introduce random colors and dividers. For the most part, you want to make sure that the divider matches the same color as the background of your next section so that they blend well with each other. And last but not least, remember that all of these things, dividers, decorations, drop shadows, borders, they're here to complement your design and to help make your content stand out. But if these things start to distract people from reading your content or taking action on your website, you've created an, an unnecessary problem for yourself that will definitely need fixing. And here's the big surprise for you. All of the good landing pages that you've seen today are ready for you to use inside Thrive Cloud. Simply create a new page inside WordPress, open it up with Thrive Architect and choose the option to start from a pre-built landing page. You will be able to pick any of the ones that I've shown you today. I truly hope you found this video useful. I've had a blast recording it. One special mention for our awesome design team for putting these landing pages together for us. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.